There's like 17 planes and cars going by at the same time. What is life? My street's normally not busy, but every time I film, freaking airplane. Go away, go away. Come say lower, come say lower. Hey everybody, it's B, and if you didn't know, I'm on a journey to lose 100 pounds. Today we're doing the thing that we do where we rip off other YouTubers and steal their meal and nutrition ideas. And today, the lovely YouTuber that has the honor of being ripped off by me, Janae from Sweet Potato Soul. Freaking cars. Here is a picture of Janae. You know how like some people just like emit a certain vibe and that vibe is good? This woman right here. You could tell she's really passionate about what she does. She's vegan. Her recipes are 100% vegan. I found her YouTube channel looking for plant-based recipes. While I'm not personally vegan myself and I don't really plan on going fully vegan, I do see the value in, you know, not having the animal products some of the time. You know what I mean? Honestly, her content kind of reminds me of the movie Chef, that John Favreau movie. If you've ever seen that, like total major food porn, but her content's the same way. Because I truly appreciate her content and even though I haven't tried any for recipes yet, I went ahead and purchased this cookbook. It's a hundred easy vegan recipes and your girl is sold by the word easy. All about it really. It is almost time for my eating window to start so we're gonna go ahead and make the first recipe. And then maybe we'll like go on a walk or something because it's a really nice day today. And also thank you so much for everybody who's concerned about my sunburn and telling me that I probably got heat stroke. Like <laughs> probably. First recipe of the day we're making Janae's white bean tomato salad. I'll give you one guess why I clicked on this video. We're not going to go to the stove at all. We're not going to turn on the oven. I thought a lot of you guys would appreciate this video. Trust me, I really, really do. No bean in my grocery store was labeled white bean, so I just chose the legume, which most closely resembled myself. Large and pale. So we ended up with butter beans, people. This was really easy to put together. I personally really enjoyed the fresh herbs in it. There's basil and parsley. I typically don't use that many fresh herbs and I don't know why. It's such a game changer. The whole thing just tasted so fresh. Why don't I think of these things? The neighbors have a pool and there's currently a whole child farm screaming next door so I couldn't really chat during this meal but I would never rob you the privilege of watching me eat like a wildebeest. So here's the footage sped up of me enjoying this lovely bean salad on avocado toast. So 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 good and so filling. I will definitely be making this and eating this again. So I'm just getting a little bit of a walk in. I just wanted to like let you guys know that I have been struggling recently in the mental health department. That's the reason why I started that challenge that I'm supposed to be currently doing. And I say supposed to, cause I'll get to that in a second. For about a month now, my anxiety has been really bad. Wonder what the likelihood is I'll get struck by lightning. <laughs> Huh. But anyways, I'll have physical pain in my stomach, like doubled over first thing when I wake up, which is not ideal. And then I go through periods where my mood isn't exactly stable. Like I'll go from being ultra happy to really down. And I've dealt with depression and anxiety in the past, but for whatever reason, it's just amplified now. But anyways, I fell off of the challenge that I set up to do. Like I told you guys that I was going to be doing yoga three times a week, meditation and journaling every day. And I fell off a couple days. I figured I could just tell you guys that I did but then when I wasn't doing it for one third of the challenge that's a problem so yeah um <laughs> that's it's basically me just telling you like everything and everyone in 2020 the challenge that I'm doing is canceled wish it wasn't raining right now kind of thinking I should go back the opposite way so in a way, I almost think it's like a mental thing. I was looking a lot into like probiotics and the benefits of gut health for mental health. And <laughs> it had a lot of promise, but I don't know. When you're experiencing like depression or anxiety, you feel very hopeless. This little shred of hope, I wanted to hold on to it. Like as far as like the gut health thing went. Cause I was like, well, if this doesn't work, we're back to square one. So like sabotaging it, you know, not following through. In a way I was protecting myself from, I don't know. I guess like the disappointment if it didn't work. But I'll never know if it worked. I gotta get home. <laughs> oh my God, okay. 
I'm gonna put my phone down so I'm not like literally a lightning beacon. Standing literally in an open field with my hand up with my freaking phone in the middle of a thunderstorm is not smart. Why do I do like dumb things every vlog? We're sunblock today though. <laughs> Oh my god, I just ran home before it started raining. Let me show you. I like barely made it. <laughs> Okay, for my second meal, I'm going to be making tempeh tikka masala. I did not know what tempeh was. I'm gonna be really honest with you. It took me a really long time to find this and I had to drive to a store that was 30 minutes away from my town. The little podunk town that I live in isn't really friendly to a lot of different cuisine. It's a lot of the same old ho-hum kind of stuff. You know what I mean? So it took some finding, but we got it. I wanna show you some of the alternatives that I got in case I couldn't find the tempeh because I went to like three different stores in town before finally finding the goods. So first I was like, the place that has got to have it 100% is Natural Grocers. Like that place smells like patchouli hardcore. There's no way that they don't have it. Not only did they not have the tempeh, they did not even have tofu. Are you kidding me? But they had this stuff called Satan. I know it's Satan, but really like, hold on, hold up a second. This look good to you? Satan? Looks like it should be called Satan. Does it not? Nasty! I'm still gonna try it and I'm gonna eat it, but like I didn't want to throw it in Janae's wonderful recipe and just mess it up and then not like it. Mmm, Satan in chunks. But then we went to Walmart. You know, Walmart has been like upping their game and getting a lot of different stuff in. And we actually found some tofu. And guess what else we found that I couldn't find the other day that was right next to the tofu? Kimchi. Should we give the kimchi like a little bit of a taste test real fast? Just before we start cooking, you know, to like wet our palate or whatever. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was really annoying. I'm in a mood. Okay, let's put you there. Should not be handling sharp objects. Ooh, point them right to you. That's a good idea, B. I didn't even need a sharp object. I could use my talons. <laughs> Why is everything so difficult for me all the time? <laughs> okay. At first I'm gonna say no, but the aftertaste isn't offensive. I think it's one of those things where it's gonna be an acquired taste kind of situation. This could probably taste good in something. I don't know about eating it like straight out the box. I'm just gonna put that away for now. Maybe we will try it with some like eggs or... I, I see people make kimchi fried rice. That would probably be actually really good. Let's actually quit messing around and let's cook. Ooh. You know the moment right before you start cooking and you just really don't want to? That's what I'm feeling right now. How are we feeling about this angle? I feel like it's nice because I can actually talk to you while I'm doing things instead of doing voiceovers. Sweet potatoes are always really hard to cut. These pieces aren't very like uniform. I don't know how much that matters, but we tried our best. Well, we tried. <laughs> Maybe not our best, but... Spazosaur, I choose you. We're gonna do some of this. 
in the recipe directions, she says to roast the sweet potatoes and the cauliflower separately. I am just gonna do it all on one because this is who I am as a person. So if the recipe doesn't taste good, it's probably my own, my own fault. I am really surprised because it looks, it looks like the picture. Well, kind of. Girl, what the f It's really good. I'm surprised it's so good because A, I made it. B, I've tried to make Indian food before and failed miserably. So I don't know why I decided I'm gonna tell you something that's a little bit more difficult to tell you. Well, I was on a walk while I was nervous about vlogging in front of people and I was physically walking and trying to talk at the same time, which are two things that I've never been good at in the middle of a freaking thunderstorm. <laughs> but I did and I don't know, I just kind of wanted to like go over like a couple things that I may not have said or may not have explained well. So lately my mental health has been struggling for like the past month, maybe month and a half. I've been dealing with like pretty bad anxiety and depression, but I don't even know if I could really call it depression. It's weird. Hold on. I'll, I'll explain it. So the anxiety thing is the worst part because as soon as I wake up in the morning, it's there and I have like this really intense pain in my upper left stomach. It just feels like like someone has it in a vice, <laughs> which is not fun. I don't know what that is, but it makes getting sleep not that good because it's not very restful sleep. Yeah, I have a feeling my subconscious is just like doing me dirty all night long. That's what she said. And then I'll have these crazy bouts of sadness throughout the day where like I'll be like super happy. I'll be like, oh, I feel like filming. I feel like cooking. And then it'll just be like, straight into Eeyore mode, not wanting to do anything, not feeling capable. All I want to do is lay down in my bed. But it, it's weird, it only lasts for an hour or so. I dealt with that feeling before because it's the feeling that I get when I start something new, but I've never dealt with it for this long. And it's also like, I would say a bit more intense than I've previously dealt with. I mean, and maybe it's coming with like the magnitude of what I'm doing because like not only do have a big audience and like lots of people like judging my life, you know, but I'm also changing my whole life because the whole weight loss thing is, I don't know, it's not just something like, oh, I lost, I lost weight. It's like, no, I'm changing a lot. So maybe that's also a reason why it's affecting me so much. I don't know. So that's like, in a nutshell, what I've been dealing with lately for the past month and a half and the reason that I sparked that mental health challenge. So with the yoga challenge, it's definitely not the hardest challenge that I've done on this channel thus far. You know, honestly, it was probably like the easiest. Like I just set the guidelines for myself to do yoga three times a week, eat probiotics and promote good gut health, meditate for 10 minutes a day and journal. So while those things are easy enough, for some reason, I just would not do them. I did have an episode where I binged and this is the first time since I started my journey <laughs> that I had like succumbed to the urge to binge eat. I ordered Old Chicago. I had an individual sized pizza with pineapple and artichoke heart. And then I ordered a side of wings with blue cheese. It's not really that like I messed up that bad. It was one meal. It wasn't as crazy as some of my other binges in the past. I'm not like distraught about it, but I am a little bit sad. And it's not so much that I'm like, oh, I ate this food that's forbidden. It's not really that because I would have allowed myself to have that just in, you know, moderation. What I'm sad about is I didn't stop eating when I was full. And toward the end, like I could definitely tell because I wasn't enjoying the food at all, like the taste of the food. Like, you know, when you eat that much, I could tell I was just eating because I was trying to stuff down emotions when I was using food again to solve my problems. So like, I don't know, I didn't really beat myself up about it too much because it's something that I'm dealing with and I didn't expect it to be just gone forever. You know, like, oh, I started this thing, now it's gone. You know what I mean? I expected to fall back or like have slip ups and stuff. I think just what's disheartening is this was the longest streak 
that I've ever gone without binging. But it's okay, because like maybe the next streak will be longer. That's how you get better. You stumble and you just get right back on it. You don't like sit there and let that habit ruin your whole week or then your whole month and then the rest of the year. Because like that's what I would do in the past, but then we're like, we're right back on it. We're eating good today. We're eating really good today. I will say one thing though about like vegan foods. If you have problems feeling satiated, eat plant-based. Like you could have a lot. I guess volumetric eating is what it's called. But you could have a lot for like a decent amount of calories. So it's good and I'm glad I tried it. Like I mentioned, the meals are really filling. So I was wanting something a bit lighter for my last meal. So I settled on pecan sweet potato granola. Except I subbed out the pecans for a nut I did have, which was almonds. Also, a side note, sweet potato and granola slaps. So good. Last meal of the day, just made some granola. I always crave something sweet at night, so oh, it kind of works out good to reverse breakfast foods because I want something savory in the morning. Mm. But anyways, I won't keep you much longer. Thanks for coming along with me and watching all my shenanigans throughout the day. If you want to support the struggle, you could go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload because we're gonna just continue on struggling because that's what we do at this point. Struggle so hard, my find me. But anyways, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're being healthy. I hope you are good mentally, physically, emotionally. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye!